In this video I would like to talk about vintage wardrobe and how with a relatively small budget you can look like you bought everything in the finest stores. I visited a wonderful vintage boutique that has so many beautiful pieces so I was inspired. I believe because of my line of work I am drawn to vintage pieces. I am constantly surrounded by clothes and fashion and now I understand what a great garment is. I also do not own heaps of clothes any longer and I'm focusing on authenticity, longevity and quality rather than just buying anything. Of course, to come to this point, I had to own a lot of not very quality items first. Everything you see except jewelry and shoes was bought from a vintage store. Everything is 100% wool and well-known brands. I'm not someone who is a slave to brands, but it's always nice to know. Vintage and second-hand are not the same. Vintage items are older than 30 or 40 years and second-hand is everything from 2000s. I believe the used clothing industry became major in the early 1800s because industrial revolution caused many countries' population to grow too quickly for their domestic manufacturing to keep up with. Also, there is new old stock, meaning very old clothes that were never worn and probably still have tags on them. What comes with vintage shopping is also experience that is very different from high street, fast fashion or luxury experience. Shops are smaller, more intimate and with character. You can always have a small chit chat with seller and you can find outstanding pieces. Buying vintage, you're going on a quest and on a journey to get that special piece that will project something about yourself. I really like to combine my new garments with vintage because I'm not very drawn to extreme vintage look. I prefer modern, ahead of trends, sophisticated and pared down style. This way of shopping is not something that can be done in a hurry. You should take your time and not feel pressured to spend. Although there is a little pressure because if you don't get that item there and then, you might not find it anymore. But I find that to be part of the game. Unlike with new stores where you have racks and racks of the same item in all different sizes and then all different colors, vintage pieces are carefully curated. I wouldn't necessarily say that vintage shopping is always budget friendly, as you can find garments from famous designers as Yves Saint Laurent, Dior and others, but it is definitely a beautiful experience. My goal is always for people to ask me where did I buy an item instead of signaling with brand names. But of course, I love my designer pieces as well. The secret of a well-chosen vintage piece is in materials. Always pay attention to the composition of the material and of course cuts in style itself, because some vintage can look very outdated. It is important to strike a balance between perceiving authenticity of vintage items and making them relevant to a contemporary audience. Many people have an aversion to vintage things because they believe they carry the energy of the previous owner. I never thought of it that way. I experience material things as they are, something tangible and that's all. There is no need to mention the quality of these blazers. Placement of the pockets on those pants is perfect and all the blazers can be easily dressed with jeans and sneakers for casual look. In the coming years will be a lot of changes in the fashion industry. Some of the world's biggest clothing retailers has agreed to buy recycled polyester from the US as fast fashion retailers face pressure to reduce waste and use recycled fabrics now. And have you noticed that the blazers and trousers are men's? I like to dress in a slightly androgynous style, so I always check men's side first. I also choose very carefully what I bring into my house now. I don't like to have cluttered closet and forget about the garments I have. 
I believe ignoring fashion is also losing an opportunity to look your best. Whether we like it or not, how we dress has a lot of influence on our mood and how we feel. It just happens to me that when I dress up just a little, I even make better decisions. It might sound weird, but it's true. I hope that this video found the right person and that I at least brought you a little closer to the vintage wardrobe and gave you the motivation to find your hidden gems. I wish you the best of luck in your vintage shopping.